Mojave Electric Cooperative, Incorporated July 3, 1946. Mojave Electric Cooperative was established in 1946. Within a year, it was serving 90 meter locations on five miles of line. People working together formed the co-op as member owners to bring electricity to a rural area that investor-owned companies would not serve because they could not make a profit. Fast forward to today, Mojave Electric Cooperative is a locally based not-for-profit distribution cooperative providing electricity to more than 39,000 meters with more than 1,500 miles of line in the communities of Bullhead City, Fort Mojave, Mojave Valley, Golden Shores, Topak, Wickiup, Hackberry, Peach Springs, Valentine, Truxton, Wallapai Mountain, and Valley Vista. Providing electricity is a big job performed by Mojave Electric Cooperative's member elected board of directors and 77 employees working together to bring reliable energy and superior service to our members. As a not-for-profit membership form of business, our cooperative is not driven by profits, but by our values, innovation, accountability, integrity, and commitment to community. Our rates cover the cost of doing business and they are not marked up to generate a profit. Today, America's rural electric cooperatives serve 75% of the land area, but only 25% of the population. The beginning of rural electrification. Across America in the 1930s, cities had been served with electricity since the late 1800s, but the vast rural areas were still using coal oil lamps and power from diesel generators. At that time, power to remote areas was not thought to be economically feasible. Under President Franklin D. Roosevelt's administration, the Rural Electrification Administration, or REA, was created, and it paved the way for the Rural Electrification Act of 1936. Enacted on May 20, 1936, the act provided federal loans for the installation of electrical distribution systems to serve isolated farms, ranches, and other rural areas of the United States. The construction of Hoover Dam and Davis Dam spurs development in Bullhead City. While REAs were springing up all across the country, in the early 1930s, construction began on Hoover Dam, the first of the large reclamation projects along the Colorado River. These projects were planned to control the Colorado River and manage the wide fluctuations in the amount of water from season to season and year to year. A series of dams along the Colorado River was devised to act as flood and silt control, as well as providing a dependable source of water and an inexpensive source of electricity in Nevada, California, and Arizona, which encouraged population growth and industrial development. Another major storage dam on the main stem of the Colorado River is Davis Dam, located 67 miles south of Hoover Dam. In 1942, construction began on Davis Dam, which spans the Colorado River between Arizona and Nevada. Work on the dam was halted when labor and construction materials were prioritized for World War II. Construction resumed in April 1946, and that brought hundreds of workers and their families to the area. The construction of these two dams, first Hoover and then Davis, was instrumental in the development of economic and residential growth along both sides of the river and extending downstream from Davis Dam. Workers at the dam needed goods and services, and businesses sprang up in Bullhead City to support the workers and their families. The growing community needed electricity for homes and businesses and farms. The only way to provide electricity was for the people in the community to do it themselves. And it was that pioneer spirit which was the beginning of Mojave Electric Cooperative. The importance of the construction of Hoover Dam and subsequently Davis Dam and its role in bringing people to the area is key to the eventual formation of Mojave Electric Cooperative. And together, these events created a climate for the development of our river communities as they exist today. The Early History of Mojave Electric Cooperative on May 1, 1946, a group of citizens met in Kingman, Arizona to explore the possibilities of attaining a dependable, affordable source of energy for rural communities near Kingman, as well as Big Sandy Valley, Wickiup, and Bullhead City. Mojave Electric Cooperative was incorporated on May 6, 1946, 
and a board of directors was elected to begin the process of electrification. In June 1947, the co-op secured an REA loan for $310,000. This loan was to provide Bullhead City with power and to build 12 miles of transmission line into the area south of Bullhead City, then known as Topak. The system was energized January 1, 1947. After the first year, there were 90 meters on five miles of line. Power supply contracts were arranged with the U.S. Department of the Interior the Bureau of Reclamation, and the Arizona Power Authority for power from Davis Dam and Citizens Utilities and other power resources. 1948. A news article from Mojave County's newspaper announces that farms are connected to Mojave Electric Cooperative's lines to supply power for water pumps. In December 1948, the Board of Directors was approached by the Wallapai Tribal Council from Peach Springs requesting electrical service from the cooperative. Also in 1948, a wholesale power contract was signed with Citizens Utilities to provide power for members in Peach Springs, Valentine, and the Hackberry areas. In 1954, there were 478 meters and 275 miles of line. In 1956, the cooperative's office was located in a tin warehouse located on Santa Fe Railroad property next to the tracks at Andy Devine and 3rd Streets in Kingman. The 1960s and 1970s. In 1963, a new office building was built on East Andy Devine. The first capital credits checks were issued to members in 1964. Under the cooperative business model, any revenue left after paying operating expenses and debt loans is called margins. These margins are allocated to a capital credit account for every member based on the amount of electricity purchased. In 1969, Mojave Electric Cooperative had 4,006 members and 534 miles of line. Mojave Electric Cooperative's general offices moved to Bullhead City in 1972 and the Kingman operation moved to a building on Shangri-La, which today remains as Mojave Electric Cooperative's Kingman Operations Facility. Mojave Electric Cooperative experienced a significant growth in the river area as people sought a place for retirement and recreation. Power supply contracts with Arizona Power Authority for federal hydroelectric power met the purchased power needs of the co-op members until about 1970. It was at about this time that the federal government's hydroelectricity was fully allocated and additional power was not available to meet the cooperative's growing demands. Mojave Electric Cooperative's Board of Directors was challenged to find a guaranteed source of power. So it was that in 1971, Mojave Electric Cooperative became a member of Arizona Electric Power Cooperative, APCO, located in Benson, Arizona and began purchasing power from the 520 megawatt generation and transmission cooperative in 1973. While consumer goods have increased substantially over the last 70 years, electricity costs have changed very little by comparison and remain an excellent value. For example, the average price of the family car purchased new in 1946 was $1,250. In 2015, it was $31,252. 
That means the price of the car was 25 times as much in 2015 as it was in 1946. A gallon of gas costs 11 times as much. A gallon of milk, four times. A dozen eggs, five times. And a loaf of white bread, 20 times more in 2015 than in 1946. If you look at the Mojave Electric Cooperative residential member energy cost, the difference is comparatively small. In 1947, 300 kilowatt hours was $19.55. In 1991, the same amount of electricity was $24.96. And in 2015, 300 kilowatt hours cost $25.95. With the advent of recent technology, Mojave Electric Cooperative has embraced photovoltaic or solar resources to serve its members. A five megawatt utility grade solar energy facility was energized in 2015. And there are plans for an additional 11 megawatts expected to be completed in 2016. Mojave Electric Cooperative's renewable energy program has also invested more than $2.3 million for more than 35 solar projects, which are saving energy dollars at schools, government buildings, fire stations, and nonprofit facilities. Mojave Electric Cooperative continues to build on its 70 year history and a legacy of service to a growing, thriving region and the numerous communities in the area. The cooperative remains committed to its mission of providing safe, reliable, and affordable power to the people who have relied on it in the past rely on it today, and will continue to look to it for power for the future.